back on the board, which is sticking my neck out. What do you say? My friends are not bullshit. You're loyal, huh? That's a good quality. Are you sure they're worth it? Look, I won't go AWOL, okay? So, you figure it's better to be a Latino? Then go to the shower room. Don't let anyone see you leave. Thanks a lot. Your pants. Damn. Was that your first time? <laughs> Get serious. It was too. Big deal. Uh, Dr. Loftus. Hi. Look, could you check my deep clean, please? I'll be right with you, Jennifer. Just 
Dr. Loftus, I'm sorry. I was just so upset. I, I had to be alone. What's the problem? <laughs> well, I want to make it to level three so badly before I go, but I'm afraid to ask for a vote just in case I'm rejected. <sighs> and I want my mom to know that I tried real hard. And Dr. Farmer's not here today for my one-to-one. -one, so I don't have anyone to talk to. Take care of the one to one, come on. I'm passing a deep clean, Jennifer. Go to sports. You did a very good job. Congratulations. Down here, Tim. Tim. Have any of you been in family counseling before? No? What are you writing down? No one said of anything. No, I'm just taking a few notes for the course of this. Jesus. Richard, for pity's sake. Family counseling is central to our approach here, Mr. Dula. Why don't you just cut all this crap and tell us how we can get them out of here? Thank you, Richard. Thank you for your profound insight into adolescent psychology. He should have stayed with me, Felicia. Like Andy? Oh, yes, you're doing a wonderful job with him. Maybe you could even teach Tim how to break into houses with a crowbar. If you come anywhere near my house again, I'm going to have why, a why, 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 don't, why don't we try to be civilized about this? You would, please. Is that what I just heard you say? Is that bought and paid for with your money? It's in both our names, actually. Well, I'll bet it is. Did you buy him the gun, too, Felicia? Is that part of your airy-fairy notion of child-rearing? Buy the kid anything he wants, some drugs, a stereo, a handgun. I knew this would happen. Oh, you know every goddamn thing in the world, don't Why you? Why don't you just try and cooperate, Mr. Doolin? Did I say anything to you? I thought you said this was a family session. What the hell is this guy doing in here? He's no member of my family. Dick, I'm the boy's legal guardian Yeah, now. you're nothing but the sorry son of a bitch who's paying the bills from now on. Congratulations, pal. Good luck. You are completely impossible, Richard. This is what I've had to deal with, Dr. Loft. You haven't dealt with a goddamn thing your entire life, Felicia. Whoa, he wouldn't be in this whoa, place whoa, if you were dealt whoa, with anything. What are you saying no, now? No, this is my whoa. fault? Whoa. That's whoa. right. Hold on. That's right. Shut up. What is the matter? There's a human being here. He's real. He's in trouble. And he's your child. Now, why don't you start dealing with that for a change? And okay, like, like in certain areas, for instance, how I get a little impatient sometimes, but I can still work on that. Mainly, I just think that I'm ready to handle level three for my final week here. That's all. Discussion of Cheryl to level three before we vote. Barry? I'd like to ask Cheryl what she was doing in the shower room yesterday during sports period. I had a one- Um, thank you, Charles. Look, Barry, Cheryl has had a one-to-one -one about this, and she's been excused from sports. It's legitimate. I'd like to thank Barry for being so concerned about me. Then what was Tim Doolin doing in there with her? Is that true, Tim? Hey, How do you know where I was? Don't huh? personalize, Tim. Just answer the question. I saw him go in there. Support. Merrily. Tim was with me during sports. Barry lies. Feeling check. 
I'm feeling very sad about Barry. I think he's a great level four in a lot of ways, but I can't deal with his acting out. Especially when he tries to touch me when I've told him oh. over and That's over. That's a fucking lie, you stuck up little bitch. I took some food is all. All right, Barry, you're a level four. Oh, you will agree with me this is not exactly level four <laughs> behavior. One hour, wall time. <laughs> Aggression, Barry. Add a deep clean. That will be no off ground. Oh. Oh, that's a level. You just lost the level. Cheryl to level three. All in favor? Four discharges, one admission. This will meet empty bets. Well, Ted, frankly, it's advertising. We need to mount a real campaign. I mean, there are other places in this area running four or five spots a day, more. Atlanta will never up the budget until we demonstrate a much stronger profit potential. It's a vicious circle type thing. We're only one small link in a chain of 250 facilities. We're not going to get special treatment. This is a business. And in business, it's the figures that tell the story. Excuse me, Ted, but we are supposed to be doing patient review. Excuse me, Charles, but I think we have reviewed every patient on the schedule. Well, I question one of the recommendations for discharge. Do they have any insurance left? Who is it, Charles? Cheryl Anderson. I don't think she's ready to leave. Can her parents afford to self-pay? She's just a mother. She's holding two jobs as it is. There's no way. Well, then what are we talking about here? We're talking about a girl in trouble, Ted. This isn't Yale's business school anymore, you know. This is this a medical facility. No, 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 just let me, let, let me. Are we always? Climb a ladder says, boo, we jump. Right? What the fuck are we? For Christ's sake. We used to say it took a year. Remember? A year to put a kid right... I'm sure that just happened to be what the insurance covered. But now they've cut it back to two, three months, and presto, we cure them in two or three months. And we know it isn't right, and we just sit here and we don't do anything. And you think those kids don't see through us? You think they can trust us? Well, just put down the banner, will you, pal? The 60s are way over. Fuck you, farmer. Fuck you. Go polish your two vintage Rolls Royces. You do pretty well off these kids, don't you? Have you been hitting the bottle again there? All right, all right, that's enough. Mrs. Anderson, Cheryl has made remarkable progress. I think you're going to be very pleased. I hope so. Thank you, Dr. Farmer. Yeah, I get a car, me and her just drive from Mexico, New York. We'll hey, ride the subways yeah. under the city. You know me, okay? Me and Cheryl living in a tunnel somewhere underground. Bye, right, Cheryl. Fuck, Miss Anderson. Hello? Well, we got the celebration! Fucking Chuck Stewart is out of his fucking mind! Yo, Natas! Yo, where are you, man? Happy birthday! What's up? Where are we? I don't know, you know. That's a good question. Yo! Spooky! Spooky! <laughs> hey, Spook! Whose house is this anyway? I forgot! Oh, so listen, dude, how's the nut belt, huh? Oh, man, this place is so fucked up. Listen, some very intense shit has been coming down now, too. Hey, is Cheryl there? Cheryl's always where she happens to be. You know what I mean? 